Once upon a time, he was simply Paul Del Pratt. Now he is Prince Paul, and together with Her Serene Highness Princess Sue, they rule the Principality of Wai. Their home near Sydney is decorated with portraits of the royal family and other trappings of the regal lifestyle they adopted when they established their new state seven years ago. I don't feel eccentric. Uh, I feel very logical and pragmatic. Yes. Well, I think what we've done is quite appropriate. Some people might think it eccentric, but, I mean, what's eccentric? Well, their foreign minister is also the gardener, for example. It's all because of a planning dispute with their local council. When they were denied permission to build a new driveway to their home, they declared independence. Well, I felt we had to do something to let people know that we'd been treated unfairly and we weren't just going to go away. And they're not alone in going it alone. The Empire of Atlantium, founded three decades ago and boasting its own stamps and currency, has recruited 1,300 citizens from around the world. Its website shows views of the capital Aurora, a couple of hundred acres in the New South Wales bush. But the Emperor makes do with a one-bedroom flat in Sydney. Uh, I'm very glad to say that I don't maintain any delusions of grandeur. I certainly don't go about uh, insisting that people give me good seats in restaurants. However, uh, a lot of our citizens do take these things seriously because they do actually refer to me in writing and, and in person as Your Imperial Majesty or Your Excellency. Um, and uh, they get a bit of a thrill out of uh, the fact that uh, there's this uh, you know, head of state that they can actually communicate with directly in this way. Australia is one of the most tolerant countries in the world and it would only be a liberal democracy like Australia that would really welcome and tolerate uh, the sort of uh, oddities of which micronations perhaps are a part. Of course it's not just pretend royals who dress up in elaborate robes, this is the mayor of Mossman. Sky News was keen to broker peace talks in her border dispute with the Principality of Wai, so she agreed to make her first visit to her rebellious neighbours. Official court entertainer, rock singer Doc Neeson, even composed an anthem for the occasion. Now you recognize why is the state where hearts and minds are free. But isn't this just going to encourage other disgruntled citizens to break away from authority? As long as they pay their rates, we don't mind. But he doesn't. <laughs> he does. He says he doesn't. <laughs> well, check his bank account. <laughs> when he's not dealing with affairs of state, Prince Paul runs an art school. Helen Mirren posed nude for him, as did supermodel Elle McPherson and friends, paintings which were used in feature films in which they starred. You'll be pleased to know I kept my clothes on for my royal portrait. Ian Woods, Sky News, in the Principality of Wine.